for a while. Madam Chair, if I may just yeah. raise the issue, regardless of the interpretation, I still think the board should require some exact information in terms of how, at least for lot two, how the 5,000 or under 5,000 square feet were measured. My feeling is it's going to be pretty close. If it's not 5,000, it's not much less than that. Madam Chair? Yes. What are we doing here tonight? Are we determining We are here tonight to determine application completeness thing to set aside for and set aside for sounds like the application to me sounds fairly complete uh, so I mean, why can't we move this on to that point uh, i don't think we can debate the wetlands issue at this point Tom, uh, come for that. i'd like to get out there and walk around yeah, mm -hmm. me too um uh, let's go down through there is a partial uh on your checklist your application Completeness checklist uh, under sewage facilities. Um, do you want to address that? The, the reason for the partial under uh, sewage facilities was regarding lot one, the septic system uh, to be placed on that site is proposed to be put in filled soils, filled land, and the uh, code enforcement officer raised the point that there's going to be some issues. Uh, it's going to have to go through a separate process. Uh, checking with Jerry Daigle, um, he's not sure where that stands. We may want to ask the applicant at this point where it does stand. It's not a major issue, but something that, probably, that needs to be addressed by the town before the board gives it uh, gives the applicant final approval. The status of that question is that on June 30th, uh, Mr. Frick, a representative from DHS, uh, Mr. McVeigh are going to meet on the site to review the status of the, uh, quote, fields land, unquote, and uh, render a decision on its uh, suitability. Thank you. Um, I think really there, uh, does the planning board have any other information or data that they feel uh, has been requested that should be uh, here tonight? That's box. Just under, just so I can explain, there's an empty spot under 17B when I fill out this application, um, the application completeness checklist. Uh, the applicant had not yet received approval from town council. I think the town council's action pretty much uh, puts an okay by that spot. Uh, I hope that they have that. So yeah. I assume that that, that, that is there. in front of you tonight, so you do have that. Um, therefore, uh, I guess. We are at a point where we can uh, make a judgment on this as to whether it is complete or not. And what is your wish? I don't think we do. You might have to make one up. No, you do. Oh, sir. No, you do. Number four. Mr. Tinsman. That we ordered that the planning board finds the application of Tony Owens and Gary Cummings for Spinnaker Heights and proposed three lot subdivision located on two light to be complete according to section 16.23a of the subdivision ordinance and fact presented. And that the board will hold a public hearing of the proposed project of July 19th. Is there a second? It has been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Madam Chairman.
Yeah. And also the boundaries of the wetland. And the site distances. <laughs> Slow down. Yes, I do. Yes, Mary. Pardon, Dan? Yes. Um, any other points of discussion? Mr. Button. Madam Chairman, just I want to just confirm, and I think it's pretty evident the board also needs to just affirm that this is a minor subdivision versus a major subdivision. So. Should that be the focus? No, that's something you can do afterwards. Any other points of discussion? All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Opposed, it is unanimous and your application is complete. Uh, it is, I think the board would agree, a minor subdivision being three lots. Uh, and under our new ordinance, we uh, have several options to either to make this a more intensive uh, or longer process or not to, to speed it along. Can we determine that after the sidewalk? Uh, or the minor it, subdivision? Whether it's minor or not. My understanding is that if a wetlands alteration permit has to be applied for, that that may take it to a major subdivision. Is that correct? I, mean, there, I guess there that is, right. Yeah. A number of lots uh, as a, as a neighbor. Mm -hmm. And the second is whether there are any extenuating circumstances which may require a more intensive I, I believe, I think it's just the matter of the number that is being considered in the subdivision as to whether it's minor or major. You may have a, a public hearing, you may have, uh, it's optional, under the minor consideration or you, uh, Mr. Butler, do you agree with that? Right, the wetlands alteration wouldn't automatically make it a it major. major. So this is a minor. Right, and you need, you're supposed to finalize that at first meeting this time. Yes, Mr. Cross. Um, Mr. McBain, uh, this is Mr. Kirk, and DHS are going to do, do the sidewalk and the tribute. Yes. And for the July, and I'm just, I'm just hopeful that whatever they come up with can be in our packet for the July meeting, the July board meeting. I, I, this we're getting beyond our time of July 1st to get it in to make sure that we get it. We can just make sure that that gets in that packet. That, that would be in the packet in the form of a letter from Ernie McBain, so we'll make sure, but the applicant can also, the applicants can also maybe. I think it's unlikely to get the state to get something for us by July 1st. Yeah. Um, would you like to set a, a site walk first and um, Do you want to go before the, uh, how about the week of the 27th, is it <clears throat> like the 29th or the 30th of June? What time are you walking around with Mr. McVeigh and, and Mr. Frick? The afternoon of the 30th, 3 o'clock. Uh, um, that's subject to uh, the schedule of the would Thursday the 30th, uh, around 5 o'clock, be agreeable? Thursday the 30th, is that a problem? I can't believe that that's something to do with the video. It depends on the weather. I'm supposed to go to a bunch of people and share with the food. It's a weather coming out of here. Is there anyone else that can't be there? Madam Chairman, if it's at all of any significance, I can't be there on the well, 30th. Well, that is of significance, then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, how about Wednesday, the 29th? Does that give you enough time to flag and do all these? I, I'm going to be gone all next week, actually. Okay. And it would be best if uh, we could do the flagging the following week. Alrighty. Um, or that next weekend. I'm out the next week, but the rest of you can go. It, it just has to be before the 19th. July. Yeah. How about the week of the July 11th, Tuesday the 12th? Anybody got a conflict for that? Do we have a um, workshop meeting that we 
We have no, one in the fifth. Four. Following the fourth. <laughs> of which we'll all be very alert. Uh, let's. Is the twelfth all right with you? Oh, that's fine. Thank you. All right, and we will meet you at five o'clock, uh, and park by the strawberry fields and pluck a few strawberries. And that's right. I'll bring the whipped cream. All right. Thank you very much. Anything? Thank you. Uh, anything else? We have a data receipt for you in just a moment. <laughs> um, any other questions or comments? If not, I uh, we I, give you a, a date and receipt as soon as I sign it. I have uh, one question. In going through the uh, ordinance, there appears to be the uh, opportunity for you to request further information from. Um, for me uh, regarding questions you may have, do you anticipate that there are any specific things you'd like us to prepare for the site visit uh, beyond the meeting with DHS, Mr. Frick and Ernie? Uh, I think you should meet with the Conservation Commission uh, and they have not seen the, uh, I guess, the easements and, and they are advisory to us, so I think that you should meet with them and because they're very interested in wetlands and land and easements and, and they... The two meet not only with the Conservation Commission, but also with the land trust uh, documents. That would be important, yeah. My name is Jim Cassidy, I'm a chairman for Jensen Baird, representing Dr. Owens. And a copy of the deed that was prepared for the land trust and the actual conservation easement was sent to the attorney for the land trust. I haven't received his comments back yet. But they should all go uh, to the Conservation Commission and the land trust so that they can be uh, apprised of. We'll try to get on their agenda. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, we have reached the end of our agenda almost. Thanks to our new policy. We now have a uh, an ordinance in front of us that we've been working on for quite some time on elderly housing. Oh, well, uh, I think all we need to do is Set, set, a public set a public hearing, which should take maybe 30 seconds. So. But don't we have to, have we approved the wording of the, do we have to? You need to just look at one line. Formally? Last. I think we need to just formally uh, approve the, unless you have, you didn't stop that, but there were some suggested changes. I'm sorry, I don't have it. Here. That's my copy. Let me just. <laughs> uh, the changes were underlined, and uh, we did discuss this at the workshop, and I believe, Steve, this is all up to date and approved by Mr. Leahy and yes. in order. So if someone would make a motion to... Maybe you want to have this on the July 19th meeting. I think that would be good. I think we have to approve the, the wording of the ordinance first. One public. I'm not sure there's going to be a lot of discussion over this one either. Maybe there may be some, but not a lot. Do we set? Do, do we go to public hearing before we send it to the council? Mm -hmm. yes. Unfortunately, there will be two public hearings, both at the town council level and at our. Presumably, we don't have to approve the language. You just set this for public hearing, and thereby approve the language as it's drafted. Mm -hmm. moved and seconded any uh, discussion all those in favor please say aye aye, aye. opposed it is unanimous. thank you uh, and uh, we can't discuss anything no <laughs> madam chairman I'm I since I'm not strictly bound by the planning board bylaws although I do maybe suffer some bodily harm they don't have to listen. 
That's right. <laughs> we need to make sure, however, that people are indeed eager to show up for the July 5th workshop. We talked about the last workshop. We may just want to make sure one more time, maybe perhaps let's take a straw poll to see who actually will show up this time. Yeah, because I don't want to call yeah. everybody. Let's just get ready. Huh? I don't have my, my schedule in front of me. Uh, one will be wetlands. That is a day of my vacation, but I am coming back that night. So. Ivan, you are pure gold. <laughs> um, I also would just like to make a comment uh, that it is very urgent that you call me or Jane or Jerry Daigle. Get in touch with us if you do not. I underline do not expect to be at our either our workshops or our planning board meetings special meetings any kinds of meetings I call. I, oh, I, I, uh, this is not meant as a personal <laughs> chastisement it is just meant to bring everybody right up to the speed meetings start at seven. <laughs> and the meetings a reminder also that the meetings start at seven and it would be wonderful if you could be here at least ten minutes before <laughs> Not required. Not required. We, if there's no further business, we are adjourned. <laughs>